Hello guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to get uh, some animation from Maya into Unity. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, my workflow of doing this. Uh, you're welcome to do uh, a different workflow, uh, but hopefully you get from this uh, how uh, you need what you need to do to actually get it into uh, Unity. Uh, first of all, I have a uh, geometry file, uh, so that's just holding my character model. Uh, this model is done by uh, Sam Wright. Um, I saved this off and then I have a skinning uh, file uh, where I just have my skinning so I reference in uh, the model uh, I have so, uh, referenced into a, a geometry group there. Uh, I didn't have a skeleton uh, we can see it there. Uh, it's an unbroken skeleton so that means there's no uh, free floating uh, joints and you can see that there is th it deforms uh, the model uh, as it uh, should do um, and that's it for this uh, file uh, save that saved off and then I have a third file uh, for my rigging um, so that's just to keep the two uh, separate uh, you could have the skinning and the skeleton uh, and uh, the rig in one file and the geometry in another one um, or all within one but um, it's all up to you. Uh, the rig in here is a custom one uh, but you can uh, do um, you, you could do any rig, it could be setup machine or, or, or your own custom rig um, but I'll just delete what was here from a previous recording um, right, so at the moment uh, I've referenced in the uh, the skeleton um, and it's not bound to the rig yet so uh, this is uh, your rig and uh, that's the, the skeleton um, so what we'll do is just bind it uh, or constrain it to uh, the rig uh, we'll open this and find the right joint in the rig so that's the arm and we'll want to constrain that I'm uh, just doing a, a normal parent constraint um, and to the next one down constraint, parent constraint so now when we move our um, brake uh, it moves the, uh, the the skeleton and the deforms the model uh, so that's it for your rig. Uh, you should uh, save that off then. Uh, just make sure we haven't got any animation. Cool. Uh, save that off. Uh, and then we want to open up a new uh, Maya session. Um, and this is where kind of where you store the animation. Um, so this is where the animator would work. Uh, first off, uh, reference in the rig itself. There we are. Um, what you want to make sure of here is to keep the uh, naming of uh, the skeleton uh, constant. So no matter uh, what version of uh, the rig or ver whatever version of the geometry file or the skinning file you, you're working with, it should always be constant when the uh, animators are working with it uh, for when you want to export it into Unity. Um, so this here, then this Tegan rig um, 06 doesn't really work. So I'm just going to name it Tegan uh, to keep it constant. Uh, so no matter whether it's version 6 or 7 or 10, uh, it's always going to have to be Tegan. And it goes to the same uh, for the rest of the referencing: is to keep it uh, keep it to a constant name. Uh, so even though in the uh, skinning uh, file here I got version 5 of the geometry file uh, it's still called uh, geo and doesn't have any version numbers in there um, so right in the uh, in the animation file here uh, we have these uh, two uh, groups here uh, now what you want to do is actually export these two groups here, the skeleton group and the geometry group to generate your asset uh, for Unity um, and 
that'll make sure that we have the right naming uh, for when we export the animation. Um, now the problem is uh, this screen recording doesn't allow me, uh, it crashes whenever I try to export uh, these two groups uh, so I'm not going to do that, I've already done that uh, but basically you want to uh, say uh, select these two, go up to export uh, selection and uh, export it as an FBX um, all you, can, uh, you just need to do uh, default settings for the FBX, that's fine um, and then save it as whatever character name or, or um, whatever you want the asset to actually be called. Uh, I'll cancel out there. Uh, so we'll do some animation here um, on these two controllers. Just bend the arm in and there we are. So we got some animation. Uh, now what we all need to do now is actually to uh, bake down the animation onto the uh, the skeleton um, uh, joints here. Um, and what you want to do now is actually to save off uh, a version of this file here. Uh, so you're saving your animation without baking the, the the animation down to the joints yet uh, so you can go back and iterate on your animation and then export again so uh, either you save off, uh, e bake down and export the uh, the animation to Unity uh, or you could, I don't know, do some uh, scripts uh, or whatever uh, but basically we want to uh, select uh, all the joints um, I'm selecting the paragon strain there as well um, you can select the parent constraint, it doesn't really matter because uh, you're going to revert back to where you previous, previously were uh, go into the, the uh, edit menu, keys and bake simulation so what it will do there is just uh, put a key on every joint on every frame so we're baking down the animation um, and all you have to do now is actually export this uh, skeleton group and only the skeleton group because that's holding the animation data um, so we'll just go and say export selection uh, hopefully it'll work um, now it's a bit it's important uh, to name this um, the asset and then uh, add uh, something arm anim or whatever uh, a description for the actual animation uh, this just uh, does the, that Unity can associate this uh, asset uh, with this um, animation um, so we'll save that off, default settings again is fine export, uh, ignore all the, uh, the warnings and um, errors, uh, it's just because of the constraints and uh, uh, can't uh, get the constraints across which is fine, we don't want to uh, get the parent constraint across so What the animator could do now, say we exported the uh, um, animation now, uh, could actually go back uh, a few steps uh, and just go back to where it wasn't uh, baked down and then uh, continue animating or whatever. But uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you guys uh, this in Unity just to show you guys it works. So I've got a fresh scene here, empty. Um, I'm importing the uh, Tegan, uh, the character asset, uh, so that contains uh, the model uh, as well as um, the uh, the rig or uh, the skeleton. So we can see here uh, it's got the uh, this the skeleton group and it's got all uh, the names uh, correct. Um, and then we'll import the animation, uh, so that's just the animation file and then you can see immediately that it associates uh, this asset uh, with this animation and we can play it and it works so uh, that should be it, uh, hopefully this wasn't too boring to watch but um, if you got any questions let me know